Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Galileo. How, How are, are you? you? Oh, fine. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. Oh, nice. It's Starting good. ready English class. Yes, ready for a new class. Ready. Oh, amazing. That's really good. Ready for a new class. That's the attitude. Thank you. All right. Hi, Mauricia. Yeah. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Oh, fine, teacher. Oh, nice. It's good to see you. Oh, thank you. Oh, we have Christian connected too, right? Hi, Christian. Hi, Christian. Are you there? No, I think he's not there. He's connected, but he's not near the computer or near the cell phone. Okay. Okay, so tell me, how was how was your day? How was, how was your day? Was it good? Very good. He was working, pretty good. Nice. With working a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> and not much. <laughs> no, not much. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the necessary. Necessary. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's it's good not to work too much. <laughs> yeah. When when uh, there are too much work, so we work hard, really hard. But when we ha are we have control about our, our job, uh, the day is so softly. Oh, nice. Okay, it's not so heavy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I imagine. So today was not so heavy. It no. was a normal day. The normal day. All right, I imagine. Yeah. Hi, Frida, Abigail, and Amber. Hello, teacher. In very complicated traffic, o sea, un tráfico horriblemente complicado. Yes, yes. You, you told me, you told me that you are in, in traffic, but stay connected, okay? Just stay connected. Okay. And when you get home, uh, you maybe you can turn on the camera, okay? Okay. Just say as a listener. Hi, Amber. Sure. Hello, I can see you are still driving. Yes, teacher, right, driving. Okay, perfect. So when you get home then you, I imagine right now you will be only listening to the class, right? Yes, teacher. Uh, okay. Now only listen. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. Hi, Juan Carlos Rivas. How are you doing? Con un poco de frío. Oh my God, really? Uh, where, where uh, you live in, I, let me remember. You live in Usulután, in Usulután, right? In Puerto del Triunfo, no. Oh, okay, so where do you live? In San Salvador. Ah, you live in San Salvador. Near to the zoo. Okay, near the zoo. Uh, is it cold where you live? Yeah. Yes, I know San Salvador in general is a little cold, right? Uh, but the, I mean, just like the, the climate here. Uh, but today is very cold. 20 centigrade. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's, it's good weather then. Nice. Sure. Who live in Puerto Triunfo? Uh, Ember. No, Ember vive en otro lugar, pero de Sultan. He's from Sultan, right? Where, where does he live? Okay. Where do you live, Ember? Mercedes Sumaña. In Mercedes Sumaña, I was close. Uh, okay. No, I, I think I think Puerto Triunfo is close to Mercedes Sumaña, right? No, no I, 50 kilometers each <laughs> other. I am I am from I am from Puerto Triunfo. Oh, you are from Puerto Ah, I, I see. I live and, and work in San Salvador. But you are from Puerto Triunfo originally. Yeah, I, I, I go every Friday. Oh, nice. Uh, to Higilisco or Puerto Triunfo. How is the weather in, in Puerto Triunfo? Is it cold? It's really hot. 
It's really hard. It's really hard. Okay, so uh, so I guess it's A3 already. So let me pass the attendance. So welcome to, to this class again. All right, remember, just to, to remind you, uh, tomorrow we have no classes. Okay, so you can celebrate your day tomorrow. All the ones who are fathers. Okay, I imagine Jose Galileo, are you a father? Yes, right, of course. Jose Galileo, are you a father? Yeah. Yes. I uh, I'm I am father for three times. Three times. Yeah. Yes. Three investments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I imagine. Three. What about you, Juan Carlos Rivas? No one. Only one. None. Ah, none. Ah, you're none. still. Uh, you just still have no children. Okay, good. What about you, Mauricio? Not yet. Yes, two. Two, two children. Okay. Uh, let's see. Amber. Yeah, Amber has a little boy. I, I have seen a little boy or, or a little girl. Little girl. A little I have girl. Two, I have two children. Yes, I see the other one on the background of your camera <laughs> on the sofa. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, what about you, Oscar Nufo? Do you have children? Oscar Arnold. Yes. Hello, yes. teacher. Hello. Yes, I have I have uh, three girls. Three girls, only girls. Only girls. Look, look, waiting, waiting for the boy. <laughs> I don't look. I don't look. <laughs> Not anymore. But 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 for look at the boy. Uh, you have three girls. <laughs> I have three girls. <laughs> oh my God! I imagine. What about you, Nelson? Do you have children? Hey. Uh, one. Ah, one. Okay, very good. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's see here. Yeah, then we have only girls. So in advance, happy <laughs> Father's Day. All right, for everybody in advance. Yes. Okay, I, I really hope you have a great day tomorrow. I know you will, maybe the majority will work tomorrow, but possibly at night, your wives or your children will celebrate you, I imagine, okay? So I really hope you, you celebrate a lot tomorrow okay so in advance happy father's okay. day okay so, okay okay Thank so you. uh so let me pass the attendance quickly then and then we start with the class alejandro antonio abigail she's connected hi teachers please me connecto Okay, okay. Ana Beatriz? Present. Christian? Christian is not connected yet, okay. Amber? Frida? Present. Jacqueline, is it? I'm here, teacher. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I put the attendance, it's okay. I know you're driving, don't worry. Don't lose focus. <laughs> Jacqueline Lisette? At present, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, Juan Carlos Alas? I can see he's connected. Uh, Juan Carlos Rivas? Here. Um, Maria Elena? Oh, I think Maria Elena told me something, okay. Um, now, uh, Mauricio Antonio? Present. Okay. Uh, Nelson? Agri teacher. Okay, perfect. Omar Francisco? Okay, Omar is not connected. Oscar Anulfo? Present. Oscar Ernesto? No, right. Uh, Rocio Lourdes? Rocio? Present. Okay, thank you, Rocio. Jacqueline Gloribel? Present. Okay, thank you. Jocelyn? I'm here. Okay. Uh, Jesenia is not connected. She has problems. Well, she has had problems with internet. Dinora Alejandra? And Jose Galileo? Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Very good. So uh, to start uh, with the class uh, for today, well, for today we are going to start um, 
we are going to start how to give directions, okay? This topic is a little complicated, okay? When you give directions, like when you say, for example, um, go down the street, turn right, turn left, or make a right or make a left, or go straight, okay? Or the police office, the, 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 the police station is next to the gas station, for example, okay? I know this is a little complicated, but today we have this topic, okay? And we have to study this topic uh, today, all right? So the idea today is that uh, you, okay, the idea is that you learn uh, to give simple directions to people, okay? So the idea is that you learn to give simple directions to, to people, okay? Very good. So let's, uh, let's, let's start then. Uh, to start, uh, to, to start, um, just one thing. Yesterday, we studied how to, um, how to speak in future, okay? Or how to speak about future plans, okay? How do you speak about future plans? Future plans, sorry, can you tell me? How do you speak about future plans? What do we use? I'm going to sleep all day tomorrow. Ah, ex excellent. So we use, thank you very much. The example is really good. So uh, for future plans, we use going to. Be going to, to be more specific. I'm going to, is going to, or are going to. And let's listen to Juan Carlos' example. Can you repeat it, please? I'm going to sleep all time tomorrow. Ah, good. I'm going to sleep all day tomorrow, okay? So listen to the example. I'm going to, I'm going to sleep, all right? Good. So Juan Carlos has a plan, okay? He's using going to because he has a plan, okay? Good. So um, can you tell me another example about what you are going to do tomorrow? In my case, in my case, I am going to work in my house tomorrow. What about you? What are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to take a little rest during the morning tomorrow. Nice, that's excellent. So do you have a, a free day tomorrow, Galileo? Yeah. Yes, I, excellent. I'm going to take. Nice. So does everybody have a free day tomorrow? Does everybody have a free day tomorrow? Yes, I imagine, no, right? No, oh, not everybody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I I uh, have a half day free. Okay, so you are going to you are going to work, Amber. Yes, teacher. Uh, in the morning. In the morning. Ah, oh, but in the afternoon, free. Yes, the afternoon is. Uh, I going to lunch with my family. Oh, nice. That's excellent. You are going, ah, listen to the example. I am going to have lunch with my family. Okay. It's a plan. Okay. I am going to, okay. I am going to have lunch with my family, said Amber. Okay. Thank you, Amber. Good. Uh, so can you tell me what you are going to do tomorrow? Girls, girls, what are you going to do tomorrow, girls? I have the day off too. Okay. okay so what are you going to do? Um... ¿Qué van a hacer? Uh, I going that my husband uh, of dinner for dinner. For dinner. So. Ah, good. Maybe uh, to to make the example complete, you can say I'm going to have breakfast. I mean dinner. I'm going to have dinner with my husband. Okay. Yes. Oh, nice. What a lucky husband. <laughs> yeah, this is very lucky. Yeah. Okay. So, anybody else, girls? What are you going to do tomorrow? And boys, right? Girls and boys. I'm going to um, work tomorrow. tomorrow. You are yes. going to work tomorrow, Jocelyn, right? But I imagine at mm -hmm. night, I, I imagine, I imagine at night you are going to celebrate, right? To somebody. Uh, mm, no, it's the fin de semana. Pero no ah, se and, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can say on the weekend, okay? On the weekend. Okay. On the okay. weekend. Entonces, the weekend. Sería, I'm going to celebration 
on the weekend? On the weekend, yes. I'm going to celebrate my husband or my grandfather okay. on the weekend, okay? Good. Thank you, Jocelyn. Okay, what about the others? Tell me, come on, I want to know what you are going to do tomorrow. <laughs> Don't be shy, tell me. Or tell us. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, thank you. So thank you for sharing your, um, your plans for tomorrow, okay? The ones who participated. And in this moment, uh, the idea uh, right now is to review the structure of be going to, okay? Just don't forget, okay? I say, I am going to. I am going to celebrate. I am going to have dinner, okay? For you, I say, you are. You are going to have dinner, for example, okay? For a he, you say, he is. He is going to have dinner. For she, you say, she is. She is going to have dinner. For we, we say we are. We are going to have dinner. For they, you say they, they are. They are going to have dinner. And for, um, for you in plural, you say you are going to have dinner. Or you can say the short form. I'm going to, or you're going to, she's going to, he's going to. They're going to, we're going to, or you're going to, okay? So the, the contraction, you can use the contraction too, okay? Pueden usar la forma corta, you can use the short form. Okay, based on this, based on this, I want you, okay? I want you to write three sentences using going to. I want you to write three sentences using going to, but listen. These sentences can be about your father, about your mother, about your son, about your sister, about your husband, about your boss, about your coworker, about your best friend, I don't know, okay? The idea is that you write two sentences which are true and one sentence which is not true, okay? For example, imagine, let, let me give you three examples about me, okay? So in the three examples I'm gonna give you, Two examples are true and one example is false, okay? Using going to. My wife is going to work tomorrow. One, my wife is going to work tomorrow. Two, I am going to work tomorrow in the house. Three, um, let me see. I am going to go to Gotera I mean, my wife is going to go to Gotera tomorrow. What is true? I mean, what, what is false? Number one. Number, number one. one. Number three. No, no, I, actually, jo Jocelyn is right. Okay, number one is false. Okay, my wife is going to work tomorrow. My wife is not going to work tomorrow. So it's false. Okay, thank you. So the idea is that in this moment, uh, you write three examples, okay, about your best friend, your a family member, about your son, about anybody, or about you, okay? Two true, two true sentences and one false sentence about your family or friend or whoever, okay? So you see be going to, usando be going to, okay? Yes, okay, go ahead. I give you like three minutes for this. Don't tell your partners, okay? Don't tell your partners. Teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Teacher. Yeah, yeah. Teacher. Tell me, tell me. Hello? Hi, Amber. I have a question. What is it? What is your question, Amber? Uh, una consulta nada más. Just tell me. Uh, I, I can hear you, Amber. I think you have no internet connection. Hi, Amber. Algún verbo que... I don't hear you. You think you que cambiar. <sighs> no, your internet connection is very bad. I can hear you. Uh, ahora me escucha. Yes, much better. Mucho mejor, much better. 
Ok, le consultaba que si hay algún verbo que tiene que cambiar su estructura a futuro cuando se utiliza el going to. No, no, no. You use the verb in the base form, like she is going yeah. to speak, I am going to walk. No, the verb is normal. It's on the base form. Ok. O sea que, por ejemplo, si quisiera decir uh, my mother is going to go my home tomorrow. Uh -huh. good. Yeah, it's great. My, my, yeah, my, my mom is going to go to my house. You better say to my house. My mom is going to go to my house tomorrow. Yeah, it's okay. Only three examples, okay? About you or about family or friends, okay? Or co-workers or your boss, okay? Just remember, two true examples and one false example, okay? Uh, if you say, uh, for example, my mother, okay, my mother is like saying she, right? So you say is, my mother is going to, or my father, okay? My father, you say is, my father is going to come to my house tomorrow, okay, for example, yeah? Or, or maybe you, you want to say um, my wife and I, mi esposa y yo, or vice versa, my husband and I, you can say, right? So it's plural, so you say are. Okay, my husband and I are going to go to, I don't know, somewhere tomorrow, okay? My husband and I are going to, okay? You say are, because it's plural, okay? Or my wife and I, okay? Or my grandmother, or my mother and I, okay? Are, you say are. Okay, are you ready? Teacher, how do you say esposo? Husband. You say husband. Husband con H. Let me write, yeah, that's right, like this. Sorry for my writing. It's husband, okay? Husband. Okay, thank you. Okay. Teacher. Yes? Um, how do you say? Hija. You say daughter. Daughter, okay? Daughter. The pronunciation is daughter. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> okay, uh, one more minute. One more minute. Okay, I can see Oscar, Mauricio, Galileo, and Rocio finished. Okay, thank you very much for raising hands. Oh, Jocelyn finished too. Thank you very much, Jocelyn.
All right. Uh, now, uh, now listen. Uh, we are in, in this moment. I don't know, Amber. Are you going to participate in the activity? Do you have the three examples, Amber? Uh, I know. I know why. Uh, okay. But but do you have do you have the examples in your on your mind? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, no, yeah, you can participate in the activity then. Glory Bell, are you going to participate in the activity? Glory Bell? Yes. yes. Okay, Jacqueline, is that? Yes, teacher. Abigail? Okay. Okay, listen. Uh, the idea in this moment is that we go to break our rooms and you will read the examples to your classmates, okay? But do it the most natural possible the most natural possible okay so read the examples for your classmates for your peers and the idea is that your classmates in the group guess the false example okay i repeat you read the examples to your classmates and the idea is that your classmates guess which example is false okay yeah clear very good so let's see um Mauricio Antonio, Jose Galileo, Rocio Lourdes, Juan Carlos Rivas, you will work together, okay? So you are group number one. I repeat, Mauricio Antonio, Jose Galileo, Rocio Lourdes, and Juan Carlos Rivas, you are group number one. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Now, um, so I said Jose Galileo, Juan Carlos, who else, a quien más mencioné? Rocio. Ok, voy a hacer los equipos otra vez porque algunos ya bajaron la mano y se, de, se, se desconfiguró, ok, para no perder el orden. So, I will repeat. So, group number one, grupo número uno, Juan Carlos Rivas, Oscar Arnulfo, Ana Beatriz, y Nelson Gabarrete. Group number one, Juan Carlos Rivas, Oscar Arnulfo, Ana Beatriz, y Nelson. Group number one. Group number two, Jocelyn Joana, Frida, Mauricio Antonio, Omar Francisco, y Ember Giovanni. Group number two. Group number three, Galileo, Rocío, Christian, Jacqueline Lisset, and Jacqueline Gloribel. Group number three, okay? Yeah? Okay, let's go then. So please, share your examples and your classmates will guess whether your examples are true or false, all right? All right, let's go to, to share. Okay, select the correct uh, group, please. Select the correct group. Ah, uh, Nelson, you need to go to the group, Nelson. Eh, no me cayó la solicitud. Dice. No aparece allá bajito en la pantalla, Nelson. No. That's, no. In which no. group are you? Which group is? Eh, number one. Group number one. Okay, let me send you. Okay, accept. Enter. Oh, yes. I'm going to go to dance with my husband the next Saturday. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, my father is going to come to my home tomorrow to take a break. Yeah. Sorry, can you repeat it, please? Uh, my, my father is going to come to my home. Yes. Or, mm -hmm. Maybe in this case you can say to my house. To my house. Okay. Yes, you can say come home or come to my house. Uh, come home uh, or come to my house, okay? The two options are correct. But you say come home or come to my house. Ajá. Lo que quiero decir es que mi papá va a venir mañana a mi casa a desayunar. Ah, then you can say my father is going to come uh, to have to, to my house, okay, to have breakfast tomorrow. 
My father uh -huh. is going to come to so my have, house okay. to have breakfast tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. And the third is my co-workers are going to work tomorrow. That is the false. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. The, my my sentences are: I'm going to have a lunch with my wife and children tomorrow. Uh, to so we're going to celebrate the Father's Day. That is the number one. Number two, I am going to take a little rest tomorrow during the morning. Number three, my wife is going to go to Sultan tomorrow noon. What is the false? Number three. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Jacqueline, oh, Jacqueline, está lista. Yo, oh, entrar, yo he puesto, my husband and I are going to lunch tomorrow. Number two, I'm going to visit my father on Friday and my mother is going to cook in the dinner. No sé si está bien esto. What is the force? My mother is going to. My mother, yes. Okay, number three is the force. In your case, Rocio is number, number one. Four. Ah, number, number three, three two, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. eh, Cristian. Ok. My sentences are <clears throat> I'm going to the weekend to climb the Isalco volcano. Mm -hmm. uh, number two. Mm -hmm. my, my brothers and mm -hmm. I are going to spray their days at my house. And number three. I going to speed at the Monday morning meeting. The false is number three. Number three. Exactly. Yeah. We all have the number three false. <laughs> it's difficult. Decir yeah. mentira. <laughs> sí, yo no puedo porque el teacher me está obligando. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. Uh, Jacqueline, what about you? No, solo compartir. Ahorita solo ah, sí. ¿Cuál es la verdadera o la falsa? Vamos a ver cuál es. Carlos. I'm going to sleep all day tomorrow. I'm going okay. to play tennis. True. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to play tennis this weekend. Eh, la falsa. It's true. It's true. And my dad is going to celebrate with us. Uh huh. What is true? What is false? And to be false. Hey, teacher, dobre. <laughs> It's a level, it's a ten <laughs> difficult level. The, the, the problem is that he doesn't look like he doesn't look like a tennis player. I will say that I don't have the perfect tennis. Okay, teacher, me agarró una mentira entonces. Vaya, no fue la tuya. Bueno, vamos a ver. Quiero ver. My mom is going to restaurant tomorrow. In the primera. Mm -hmm. uh, my father is not going to celebrate this weekend. Okay, la primera es falsa. You say in English. No, no. Share in English. Share in English. For me, number one is okay. false. For me, number two is true. Okay, so try to say it in English. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now this is my mom. My mom is going to go restaurant tomorrow. Creen que va a ir? Okay. No? Next, my father is not going to celebrate 
this weekend. My co-workers are going to work tomorrow. Okay. Jacqueline. Jacqueline? Solo Jacqueline? Yes. yes. Number one, my husband and I are going to lunch tomorrow and I'm going to visit my father. To my boss. I'm going to my bus play soccer. Paul. Uh, I'm going to my bus play soccer. False. No, it's true. I would have. Uh, uh, so, sorry, Omar. So, sorry for the interruption. Can you repeat your example, please, Omar? I'm going to my boss play soccer. Mm -hmm. Ah, see, sí, no, I mean, maybe you can say my boss, my boss is going to play soccer, or maybe what you want to say is, I am going to play soccer with my boss. Maybe that, that would be, uh -huh. no, I am, no. or I mean, Omar, the question is, who is going to play soccer, you or your boss, or the two of you? Two. Who is, and, ah, then you say, I am going to play soccer with my boss. Tomorrow, for example, okay? I am going to play soccer with my boss, okay? Yeah. Okay, okay. continue. Okay, continue. Continue, please. Uh, Mr. Lasso is going to travel tomorrow. Is true? False. False. no. En un día no va. Uh, is going to travel to uh, Guatemala. My Mr. Lasso is going to travel Guatemala tomorrow. This es, es false. Es como que el, es okay. el día de mañana eh, va a ir a Guatemala y no, no es cierto. Él no, no debe viajar. Okay. Teacher is correct. My Mr. Lasso is going to travel Guatemala tomorrow. Yes, you only say to Guatemala. Mr. Okay. Lasso is going to travel to Guatemala tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay so did, did you finish? No? Yes. 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 Okay. So so let's... Let's... Sorry? Omar era el último. Ah, ok, perfecto. So let's go back Falta to the Ember, main. pero. I think his connection is really bad because he is driving. Yeah. Ok, so let's, let's go back to the main station then. Ok. Okay, I guess some people are still practicing, so let's wait for them. Some people are still practicing, I think. So let's wait for, for the group that is practicing. Yes, they're coming back. <laughs> yes, now they're back. Yeah, almost. Okay, very good. So uh, let's carry on. Uh, just before I forget, before we go to the next activity, okay? Antes de que vayamos a la siguiente actividad, quiero hablar acerca de algo muy importante. Y los que están solo de oyentes, también es importante que tomen nota o más bien que estén pendientes de esta información que les voy a dar en este, en este momento, okay? Eh, para el día lunes, tenemos la encuesta de satisfacción. La información se les va a estar enviando el día viernes a su WhatsApp o a su correo electrónico. Bueno, a ambos. Yo creo que les mandan al WhatsApp y al correo electrónico, ¿ok? Por favor, por favor, hacer hincapié en esto. 
no vayan a estar tomando la encuesta de satisfacción el día que les mandan el enlace. La encuesta de satisfacción la vamos a realizar hasta el día lunes y la vamos a realizar todos juntos en un espacio en la clase, ¿ok? Les digo esto y es muy importante porque hoy las, los lineamientos de parte de Insafor para inglés corporativo han cambiado. Antes a veces estaba la oportunidad de que si uno decidía tomarla personalmente y lo, y, le, y, y lo hacía de una forma equivocada, uno podía corregir. Pero esta vez si la toman, la posibilidad de corregir va a ser muy mínima. ¿Ok? Esto es si lo toman ustedes personalmente, antes de que lo hagamos todos juntos. ¿Ok? Así que por favor, cuando les caiga el, el mensaje o el correo para la encuesta de satisfacción, no la tomen. Lo vamos a tomar hasta el día lunes. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos claros? ¿Estamos claros? Muy bien. Eh, la encuesta es incluso si haya alguien, por ejemplo, que, 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 que dice, no, pero es que yo para qué la voy a tomar si ya tengo la, ina, la, la, inas, la inasistencia, no me da para pasar el módulo. No importa porque siempre está inscrito en el módulo, ¿ok? Y por ende siempre debe tomar la encuesta de satisfacción. Esto es muy importante, ¿ok? Así que si tal vez digo eso porque yo sé que hay, no sé, hay una persona creo que está siempre en, en la clase pero no ha completado las actividades, ¿ok? No voy a decir nombres, por supuesto. Pero pues, esta persona puede decir, por ejemplo, no, pero si yo ni he completado las actividades, ¿para qué voy a hacer la encuesta? Ah, es obligación hacer la encuesta porque están inscritos en el módulo, ¿ok? Así que por favor ese día estar conectados para realizar la, la encuesta. Incluso los que se conectan eh, como oyentes a veces en la clase, igual van a realizar también la, la encuesta, ¿ok? Encuesta. Bueno, en el caso, en la encuesta de satisfacción, en el caso de los que son solamente oyentes, pero oyentes no porque están solo escuchando la clase, sino oyentes porque al principio del módulo fueron asignados como oyentes a la clase. Es el caso de Galileo y de Rocío. Ok, creo yo, si no me equivoco, y de Yesenia, son tres. Ah, pero perdón, de Dinora, lo siento mucho, Rocío, te confundí, I confused you, ok, sorry, sorry, Rocío. En el caso de Galileo, perdón, Dinora, <ríe> y Yesenia, ok. Así que en este caso eh, es, un, es, un, eh, es un tema diferente, así que ahí, bueno, creo que ustedes ya, ya saben, ¿verdad? No necesito, creo yo, decirles, pero en caso que tengan una duda, me escriben un mensajito, ok, por favor. En el caso de los demás, todos. Día lunes, encuesta de satisfacción, por favor, nadie debe adelantarse a hacer la encuesta, porque si cometen un error tienen bajas posibilidades de repetirla. Y recuerdo que la encuesta de satisfacción es un requisito para poder pasar el módulo. ¿Ok? Son tres cosas que son requisitos para pasar el módulo. La not las notas que deben ser no menos de 8%, notas generales, sumando todo, sacando, promediando todo. La asistencia, promediando asistencia, que debe ser un mínimo de 80%, ¿ok? Promediando asistencia, horas, minutos y todo, ¿ok? Eh, y junto a esto, la encuesta de satisfacción, ¿ok? Estas tres cosas van juntas para que puedan pasar al módulo 4. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta. Sí, teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. eh, en mi caso, yo fui a Recursos Humanos y me dijeron de que todavía no habían mandado este, la inscripción y todo ya lo que piden. Pero a ti ya te la mandaron. Una semana bien difícil. Vale, sí, ellos, sí, sí, ya me la ellos, mandaron. Ellos no la han ellos mandado no la han aún. Podido, ajá, no, la, no, no la han mandado aún. Entonces me dijo el, el muchacho de que eh, lo más, o sea, lo más pronto que la podían mandar era el lunes. No sé si todavía estoy aquí. ¿Por qué, no le, ¿Por qué no hacemos una cosa? Porque eh, tu caso es un caso específico, ¿ok? Porque yo no sabía realmente hasta el día que tú me comentaste de que no, no había mandado la información. Yo no tenía conocimiento. Si no, yo hubiera hecho la acción más rápido para que pudieran enviar la información. Este, hagamos una cosa. Eh, ¿Por qué no le escribes directamente a la persona? Eh, no sé quién te contacta. No sé si es Elena. Pero hay una persona que sí. le contacta a veces. ¿verdad? ¿Perdón? En los correos Jimmy dice... Ah, ok. ¿Por qué no hacemos una cosa? ¿Por qué no le escribes un correo a Jimmy directamente exponiéndole tu caso y tu situación? Y claro, diciendo, ¿verdad? Que tú no te quieres quedar fuera ese y que, o sea, que, que es importante para ti tomar el siguiente módulo y qué, solu qué, qué solución se puede 
te puede dar él. Igual yo voy a exponer el caso también con, con mi superior para ver qué ella dice. Ok. Sí, porque okay. yo el, en el caso tuyo yo lo expuse, por, por eso fue que creo que te mandaron la información. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Hey. Jocelyn, si de algo le sirve, eh, a mí me pasó exactamente lo mismo. Yo mandé la información un día después de la fecha límite y eh, fue Jimmy quien me ayudó. Eh, así que sí, valdría la pena que se apoye con él. Seguramente en el correo que les manda Jimmy, no sé si aparece algún número de teléfono, Rocío. Sí. Sí, ah, ok. Sí, entonces, entonces, para ser más, más directos, entonces eh, tal vez contactarse directamente con Jimmy y Jocelyn para ver si pueden agilizar el el proceso y para ver qué posibilidades de apoyo pueden dar. Yo casi tengo el mismo problema, teacher. Hola, Nelson. Yo creo que también casi así tengo un problema también. A mí no me mandaron, o sea, eh, de mi empresa no mandaron la documentación. Eh, ahora en la tarde, como esto de las, cada unos 20 a las 5, me cayó una llamada de un señor Luis Bonilla, si no me equivoco. Eh, preguntándome que si iba a seguir porque no habían mandado nada en de mi trabajo, uh -huh. pero yo le di el número a, a mi jefa y ella habló con él, no sé realmente en qué quedaron, ah, porque okay. realmente no han mandado nada tampoco de mi empresa. Sí, sí, es bien, es bien complicado en este caso, porque a veces no está en nuestras manos, tal vez lo que yo les hacía hincapié la vez pasada que les mencioné de las fechas uh -huh. para entregar documentación es siempre estar pendientes, como preguntando, ¿verdad? En recursos humanos para, para que nos ayuden, el problema es que a veces en recursos humanos tienen muchas cosas que hacer. Y, sí, el de, realmente y, ajá, y a veces porque, estar siempre pendientes preguntando, eso es importante. Sí, sí yo a ver, me dormí porque el día 15 recibí un mensaje, supuestamente decía que ya estaba escrito, pero no sé por qué me cayó ese mensaje de, de inglés corporativo. Entonces yo a eso, bueno, entonces sí estoy escrito porque sí, gracias por estar escrito, pero realmente no, no sé por qué me mm. cayó ese, ese, ese mensaje. Ajá, ¿y, por qué no? eso, y me di cuenta esta vez que me llamaron de inglés corporativo. Ah, ok. ¿Y por qué no escribes ese mensaje? Pues, bueno, eso es para agilizar, ¿verdad? Que tú ese, asumiste que ya estabas inscrito por el mensaje que te habían mandado. Ese, pero que ahora Ajá, te llaman que no está yo... inscrito para que te den una solución al mismo número del que te mandaron ese, ese, eso que ya estabas inscrito. Ah, Seguramente okay. será Elena o Jason o no, no sé quién, quién te mandó el mensaje o Jimmy también. Dice que el correo me cayó. Realmente ya voy a fijarme quién me lo envió. Ah, ok, perfecto. Y contactarse ahí para, así para, para ver qué se puede hacer lo más pronto okay. posible. El, el detalle es que estas cosas no se pueden dejar pasar porque el tiempo va, sí, va avanzando. Uh -huh. okay. ok, y le voy a preguntar a mi jefe en qué quedó con el joven, ¿verdad? Que, ah. con, que, con Luis Bonilla, creo que es el nombre, okay. que fue el que hizo la llamada ahora. Ok, perfecto. Cualquier ¿verdad? cosa, también yo estoy para, para, para ayudarles. Si en algo les puedo ayudar, por supuesto, ¿verdad? Pero aquí es mayormente okay. son ustedes con recursos humanos gestionando sí, y recordando. Ajá. Pero si en, algo, okay. si en algo yo les puedo ayudar, también no duden en contactarme, ¿ok? Ok, gracias, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Ok, so that, that was only a, a, a reminder, ¿ok? Eso solo era algo que quería darles. Así que, por favor, el viernes no ingresen. Si les mandan el mensajito, no ingresar a encuesta de, de satisfacción. Esperar hasta el día... Sí. Lunes, por favor, ¿ok? En el caso de Juan Carlos Salas, si nos está escuchando, también debe tomar la encuesta de satisfacción el día lunes con nosotros. Así que le vamos a pedir de favor que tal vez pueda hacer algún, algún espacio, ¿verdad? En el, caso, en el caso de Juan Carlos Alas, que él está como, se conecta como oyente por su trabajo, ¿ok? Muy bien. Eh, ok, so let, let's, let's continue then. So as I said, for today, uh, we have how to give directions, ¿ok? But I have a question for you. The question for you is, when you go to a place, when, okay, when you go to a place, you don't know, how do you do it? How do you go to places you don't know? For example, in my case, I don't know San Salvador very well. So how do I go to San Salvador? I know my strategy, but what about you? How do you go to a place you don't know? I take a Uber. Ah, you take an Uber. All right. So we have different options. Okay. What else? You take Uber. Yeah, it's okay. It's a possibility. What else do you do? When, and when you, do, when you are driving? Open. Sorry? Open. In, me, in my case, I open Waze. Oh, you, you use Waze. All right. Excellent. I like Waze. Very good. So what else? Do, you have, do we have more options? 
Teacher, I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. The, the question is, all right, when you go to a place, you don't know, okay, how do you go? How do you do it? And you are driving. Uh, okay. And Frida says, I she need used, another question. She, sorry? I need questions from people uh, ah, but yeah. are, are around or near where the place. The place near the place. Yeah, it's a good strategy. Okay, you can ask people. Okay, you can ask people. Okay, so tell me another option, please. So, sorry, my, Frida says she uses ways. My better, my better option in this case is use ways. Ways. Ways okay. is an application in my cell phone. Oh, nice. Interesting. It's like Google Maps, right? It's like similar to Google Maps. In in United States, it's best open a Google Maps. Google Maps. It, it depends, right? I mean, it's your decision. Some people say that Waze is better than Google Maps. I don't know if that's true. Okay, so what do you in, think? There what are there are some difference. There are some differences. There are uh, there are similar, but uh, between they are some difference. Oh, can or, you tell me what is or, one what is one difference between Google Maps and Waze? Okay, for example. I, pardon. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's okay, sorry. Galileo, and then Frida. Okay, I. Uh, Google map uh, have direction about whatever street. Okay. Don't care what street, but he trace a map uh, where you go so fast to to your target. Okay, so it recognizes all the streets. Google Maps all recognizes the street. all the streets. And Waze all doesn't. Street, but, and but Waze doesn't. Waze is more, is more practice. Okay. Practice. He 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 give us suggestion about the, the very way. Oh, so he gives you different routes, and he give it suggests the best route to go to a place. That's yeah. what you want to say. Okay, very good. That's right. Okay. Uh, so Frida, you were about to say something. Yes, and he visto que in in United the Google Maps application is more complete. Uh, it, it, the application says with bus to take, how many stops to get us. In oh. this case, in El Salvador, no, no is. It's not. It's not updated. It's not mm -hmm. updated. That that's the, the the word I think actualizada. It's not updated. Yes. The, uh, the applications in the United States uh, says uh, how matters uh, or how, how minutes or how uh, bus stops you get off. Okay, I, I get it. I get it. So it's more, yeah, what you want to say is that in the United States, Google Maps is more complete than in, in El Salvador. In El Salvador, is waste. Oh, it's great. Waste is I better. prefer waste. Okay, perfect. Okay, what about the others? What do you prefer, Waze or Google Maps? Waze. 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 A thousand times Waze is better. What about the rest? Google Maps. Google Maps. All right. Very good. So maybe we have like our own decision, right? Why to use Google Maps or why to use Waze. But maybe uh, what I see in Google Maps is that sometimes Google Maps tells you to turn right in a place. And the real thing is that on that place, you can turn right, okay? Because there is an arrow that says, that says, don't turn right, okay? And then you are like very confused looking for the best street, right? Yeah, as, as Frida says, the thing is that Google Maps is a little bit outdated. Está un poco desactualizado. It's a little bit outdated in El Salvador. That's true. Frida is correct. Frida is right. Okay, but here I have uh, three questions, okay? So I want you to think or to write the answers for these questions, okay? Question number one is, are you good at using Google Maps or Waze? Are you good? Okay, like, can you understand it very well? Okay. Do you usually ask for directions to locate places? But Mauricio, uh, what Oscar Arnulfo is saying, right? 
like to ask people, okay? Do you usually ask for directions to locate places? Like, do you ask people? Number three, are you good at giving directions to get to places? I mean, when somebody asks you, hey, how, uh, where is the bank? Can you tell this person very clearly where the bank is? All right, so are you good at giving directions to get to places? Okay, so take some time, take take like four minutes and answer the questions. Teacher. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is giving? What is? Giving. Giving. It's like, uh, are you good at giving directions, like to provide directions? Give is like to provide. I'm not, I not understand. Give is like dando direcciones, giving directions. Are you good at giving directions? Ah, okay. Eres bueno dando direcciones para ir a lugares to get to places? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right. So let's take like four minutes to answer the three questions, please. When you are good at something, it means you have the ability for something, okay? For example, uh, you can say, oh, teacher, I am good at playing soccer. It means you have the ability to play soccer, okay? So be good at is to have the ability, all right? So if you are good at using Google Maps, that means you have a good ability using Google Maps or Waze, all right? Teacher. Yeah, tell me. Para decir depende. Uh, tell me the complete sentence, please. Por ejemplo, la pregunta. Eh, yo quisiera, bueno, cuando la segunda, es seco. Do you usually ask for direction to locate place? Entonces, yo quiero poner depende y. It depends. Una oración. You can say it depends. It, it depends. depends. Exactly. It depends. Thanks. Galileo, do you have a question or you finished? I am I am finished. Oh, okay, perfect. You're done. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, para poder decir uh, si yo pregunto en algún lugar. Está bien decir, yes, I do ask at some place. For the second question. Yes. Ah, you can say, yes, I do, period. Okay. And then you, you can say the sentence, okay? Uh, do you usually ask for directions to locate places? Yes, I do, you can say. But if okay. you say, if you say, I ask for directions, it's like okay. you are repeating the, the question. It's not necessary. You only say yes, I do because it's very important. You can say maybe. Teacher, yeah. solo una consulta. Yes, en tell la, me. Donde dice, do you usual ask, ask for direction to the fair, please? Pudiera poner yes, I do always. Uh, and... Maybe you can say, uh, just, just directly, you can say, I always do. Mm, I, always do. I always do directly. Do you usually ask for directions to locate places? You say, oh, I always do. I always do. 
En este caso sería hasta ahí o por serlo no, corto no. se puede decir que, por ejemplo, en mi caso que lo debo ocupar todos los días por lo que hago o por lo que me dedico. Yes, yes, you can say I always do because it's necessary for my work. Yes, I always do because it's necessary for my work. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right, I'll give you one more minute. One more minute. Okay, uh, if you want uh, to have the questions, maybe you can make a screenshot. Te pueden hacer una captura. You can make a screenshot. If you don't have the questions on your notebook, try to make a screenshot of the questions, please. Make a screenshot of the questions, okay? So you have them on your, like at hand. All right. Okay, uh, so can you please, uh, the ones who finish, can you please lower hands? If you finish, lower your hands, please. Lower your hands. Lower your hands. Okay, thank you very much. Good, so uh, it's time to share. So this time we are not going to break our rooms, okay? You will share here with your classmates. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, let's start with Mauricio. Mauricio. Um, I will ask you the questions and then you select somebody to ask the questions, okay? So Mauricio, question number one, are you good at using Google Maps or Waze? I use Waze. Waze, are you, are you good at using Waze? Mm, yes. Yes, okay, excellent. Uh, do you usually ask for directions to locate places? Mm, yes, I do. Oh, nice. Are you good at giving directions to get to places? No, I'm not good. <laughs> I'm not good either. Don't worry, okay? I'm not good at giving directions. I confuse people. Okay, thank you very much, Mauricio. Okay, Mauricio, select a classmate uh, to answer questions, please. Mm, okay. Uh... Frida. Okay. Solo que la... la, la... Pregunta si no las no la alcanza. Okay, okay, let me let me display the questions. Let me share the questions. Then. Okay, there you have. Uh, Frida, are you good at using Google Maps ways? Yes, I am good at ways. Okay. Do you usually do you usually ask for direction to locate place? No, I don't usually ask for direction. I prefer to use ways. Is there for a woman to ask for direction? <laughs> in soya, in soya, yes. Are you good at giving direction to get to place? Yes, I am good at giving direction. Nice. Okay. Interesting. Thank you very much. So it's, it's one of the first uh, people I, I see who are give, giving directions, okay? So thank you, Frida and Mauricio. Frida, can you select a classmate to ask the questions, please? Um, let me see. Let me see. 
a Nelson. Ah, no, okay. Omar. Omar, okay. So ask him, please. Teacher, no copia las preguntas, sorry. It's okay, let me share. Okay, este, perdón, elegí a Omar, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, okay. Are you good at using Google Maps or Waze, Omar? I uh, use Waze. Okay. Do you usually ask, ask for directions to locate places? Yes, I do. Are you good at giving directions to places? No, I don't. Okay, thank you very much. Omar, select somebody to ask the questions, please. Uh, Mr. Christian Lasso. Okay. Mr. Lasso, are you going, are you going, are you using Google Maps or Waze? Yes, I really use both application. Do you usually ask for direction to locate place? It depends. It is it a place that I have never traveled? Yes, I do. Okay. Are you going at giving direction to get to place? If it's a place that I know, I'm good. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. So uh, for the participations for this activity, I want to say fantastic. All right. Thank you very much for your participations, guys. Okay. Now, listen, <clears throat> I don't know if, I mean, sometimes I have to go to San Salvador. In my case, right? I live in Morazan. Imagine sometimes I, I have to go to San Salvador and I have to drive my car. And I use Google Maps, right? But sometimes when you uh, get to the place, to the indicated place, uh, you don't find the place, you are like lost, okay? Has this happened to you? Yes, right? In this case, do you ask uh, for directions? Yes, y I, yes, I yes, it is necessary because supposedly, Supposedly, in this moment, you are in the place according to Google Maps or according to Waze. You are in the place, in the indicated place, but you are like looking and you don't see the place, right? Yes. So, I mean, if you see somebody, you can ask, hey, where is, and then you say the place, right? Okay. So, this is very, uh, very important. Galileo, do you have something that, to say? That's, so that situation is, it's in, in this case, necessary, but it's really risk. It's a lot of risk. It's risky. It's right. It's risky somehow. I guess you have to know the people, okay? You are going to ask. Yeah, because, I mean, yeah. it, it can be dangerous. It depends on the place where you, where you are going. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. I know everybody answered the questions, and I want to hear everybody, but unfortunately, we can't, okay? But I know you answered the questions, so thank you for taking the time to answer the, the questions, okay? So, um... I guess we need the two minutes, right? In this moment, okay? So please, in this moment, uh, let's take the two minutes break, okay? So go ahead, adelante, two minutes, please.
Okay, 10 seconds, 10 seconds and come back, please. So we have five seconds now, okay. <clears throat> okay, so in the meantime, let me pass the attendance quickly. The two minutes are over, okay? So let me pass the attendance quickly. All right, let's see Alejandro Antonio. I'm here, teacher. All right, Ana Abigail. Ana Beatriz. Present. Christian Ernesto. Ember. I'm here. Frida. Present. Jacqueline Lisset. No. Jacqueline, uh, Juan Carlos Alas. Juan Carlos Rivas. Thank you. Maria Elena is not present right now. Um, let's see, Mauricio Antonio. Mauricio? Nelson? I'm here. Okay, Nelson? I'm here. I'm here, teacher. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see, Omar Francisco. Present, teacher. Okay, uh, thank you. Oscar Anulfo? Present. Okay, perfect. Uh, Rocio Lourdes? Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Gloribel. Present. Jocelyn Joanna. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Dinora. And Galileo. Present. Okay, thank you very much. All right, very good. So now, now listen, I don't know. Um, I guess, I think, right? I think uh, many of you um, have studied um, this topic before, okay? This topic about giving directions, okay? Uh, but the idea in this moment, okay? The idea in this uh, moment is uh, that you check this, okay? These are, uh, I want you to pay attention to this. This is on page, okay, let me see. This is on page 43. So listen, here we have some prepositions to give directions, okay? I repeat. Here we have some prepositions to give directions. Uh, for example, according to these two boxes, what is next to according to the two boxes? What is next to? A la parte o a la parte o al lado de, right? That's very good. Excellent. Okay, so next to is a la parte o al lado de. Next to. That's very good. According to this box, okay, what is in front of? Sorry? En frente, en frente de. En frente de, in front of. All right, that's excellent. Now, according to this, um, to this arrow, what is between? Between, en medio de. En medio de o entre, right? That's excellent, that's very good. According to this other picture, what is across the street? En frente de. Cruzando la calle. Okay, al cruzar la calle, maybe you can say, al cruzando cruzar la calle. Al cruzar la calle. Across the street la calle. is al cruzar la calle. For example, you can say, uh, the bank is across the street. The bank is across the street. El banco está al cruzar la calle, the right? Street. Across the street. Good. According to this one, what is around the corner? A la vuelta de la esquina. A la vuelta. A la vuelta. En la vuelta de la esquina. Around... In the esquina, you say directly, okay? Around, it says around, it says around, it says around because it's supposed to be here, right? So you say around the corner, okay? It's in, in the corner, okay? So, but in Spanish, you say en la esquina, okay? Around the corner is en la esquina. Good. Now, according to this arrow, okay? Uh, what is on the right? A la derecha. On the right is a la derecha. That's right, that's right. A la derecha. A la derecha, right. on the right. What is on the left? A la izquierda. A la izquierda, okay. So maybe you can say um, the bank is on the left, okay. El banco está a la izquierda. The bank is on the left or on the right, okay. Good. Let's see down the street. What is down the street? Down the street. Al final de la calle. Bajando la calle. Al bajar la calle. You can say al bajar, al bajar la calle. La calle. Oh, bajando la calle. Yeah, that's right. So, so you can say, bajando for example, la calle. 
Yes, the, 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 the gas station is down the street, okay? La gasolinera está bajando la calle. Down the street. Down the street, down the street. So we have different vocabulary. So we have next to, in front of, between, across the street, around the corner, on the right, on the left, and we have down the street. Good. Now, next to, all right? Let me give you examples using these, okay? You can say, I mean, in real examples, you can say, um, for example, you can say the, let me, let me do something here. You can say, uh, the bank is next to the gas station, for example. The bank is, you say, is next to the gas station. Or in front, you can say, the bank is, again, is, the bank is in front of the, again, the gas station. Or between, you can say, uh, the bank is between the gas station and the company, for example, okay? Between, all right? Now let's go to across the street. You say the bank is again across the, the street. So you say the before the place. The, decimos el de antes del lugar, T-H-E, the, all right? Around the corner. In this case, it's, maybe it's not necessary to say the, right? Although it's included like here. Uh, maybe you can say, um, the gas station is around the corner, okay? Just that, on the right. The gas station is on the right of the street, you can say even. Or you can say on the left, or you can say down the street, okay? Good. So, we are going to use this vocabulary. This vocabulary is on page um, 40, what I said? On page 43, right? On page 43, all right? So please, so please, I want you to take a moment, okay? I want you to take a moment, like two or three minutes, okay? And study the vocabulary, okay? Take three minutes and study the vocabulary, please. The idea is that you know the meaning of these prepositions, okay? The idea is that you know and manage the meaning of these prepositions, yeah? Okay, so take a moment to study the prepositions, please. If you know the prepositions, I mean, that's perfect. Good, congratulations.
Okay, uh, okay, so just try to have the prepositions uh, there close to you, okay? Try to have the prepositions close to you. So in this moment, I will share you a map, okay? In this moment, I will share a map with you. The idea is that you give me examples using the prepositions, okay? And I will give you one example just for you to, to see, all right? So let's start. Okay, look, here I have a little, um, I have a little map. Okay, so on this map, I have different places, okay? Now, just imagine, okay, uh, just imagine uh, you are on this area. Just imagine you are on this area, okay? Do you see the map? Can you see the map? Yes. 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 Okay, uh, one example yes. using next to, for uh, one example using next to, you can say here. <laughs> You can say the library is next to the post office, for example. The library is next to the post office, okay? Or maybe you can say the cafe, okay? The cafe is next to the Italian restaurant, for example, okay? Yes, can you give me one example using next to, please? Raise your hand. Levanten la mano si quieren participar. Raise your hand if you want to participate, please. Go to reactions and raise your hand. So can you tell me one example using next to? Okay, Amber. Uh, the hospital is next to police station. Excellent, okay. Uh, somebody else raised hands. Creo que alguien más que levantó la mano. Who was it? Oh, it was Jose Galileo. One example using next to Jose Galileo. Uh, shop is next to underground station. Can you repeat it, please? Shop is the shop. Next you to say the the shop. Station. You say the the, the shop, shop is the shop is underground stage uh, next to underground stage. Okay, uh, okay, Galileo. Uh, don't forget you have to say the before the place. The shop yeah. is next to the underground station. Okay, now repeat the example, please. Uh, the shop is next to the underground station. Excellent, thank you very much. Okay, now let's see. I see some people raising hands, but this time we are using the preposition in front of, in front of, okay? For example, I can say, uh, for example, I can say, remember when we use in front of, we need a street, okay? For example, look at this, look at this. So I can say the bookshop is in front of the underground station, okay? So Frida, can you give us one example, please? <clears throat> the cinema is in front of the, the hospital. Excellent, okay, that's really good. The cinema is in front of the hospital. Ana Beatriz? Is in supermarket between the bookshop. Uh, you're using, uh, can you repeat it, please? Uh, supermarket, the gym, and the bookshop. Mm -hmm. The supermarket, okay, let me, let me see. Is mm, between. between. And the trash teacher, the bookshop. Ah, oh, you say behind, behind. Behind, all right. Uh, behind the bookshop. Supermarket book is behind the bookshop. Excellent, okay, that's very good. Thank you very much. Okay, here we didn't study this preposition, but this preposition is important too. So thank you, Beatriz. Nelson? Okay, uh, by station uh, in the front uh, Italian restaurant. The Italian restaurant, very good, that's excellent. That's excellent, okay. Um, now let's, let's use the preposition across the street. Imagine, imagine, I will give you this example, okay? Imagine I am here, okay, I am here. Okay, and this is the street obviously, right? I am in front of the, I am in the post, on the post office, okay? I am in the post office. So, using across from, I mean, using across the street. Can you give me one example using across the street, please, Rocio? I want to go to the cinema. The cinema is across, Across from uh, mm, post office. Across from the post office. Or you can say across the street because you know where I am, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, it's okay. Thank you, Rocio. So the cinema is across the street. Now imagine I am here. Imagine I am here. I am at the Italian restaurant, but I want to go to the bus station. Can you use across the street to give me one example, please? Who? Across the street to give me one example. Who wants to give me one example? I want to go to the bus station. Using across. Okay. The Italian restaurant. Okay, okay, let's listen to, to Amber first. Amber, and then we listen to Jacqueline with another example. Amber? Uh, the bus station is across the street. the street. The street. The bus station is across the street. Thank you very much, Amber. Good. Now let's go to another uh, preposition. The other preposition is around the corner. Around the corner. So, Jacqueline, do we have one example for around the corner? Jacqueline, listen. Uh, maybe, yes, maybe. Mm. There are many places around the corner. Okay, we have this place, we have this one, we have this one, this one. We have many places around the corner. The police station uh, around the corner to the theater. Okay, you only say around the corner. Okay, maybe you can say the street, right? At the police station is around the corner on King's Road. On King's Road, okay? Yeah, yeah okay. Repeat it, please. Uh, the police station. The police station around the corner on, on, King, on oh. King's Road. On King's Road. So when you say streets, you say on, okay? Cuando decimos calle, decimos on. On King's Road, on Bond Street, Queen Street, on First Avenue, okay? Thank you, Jacqueline. Okay. Okay, please, when you say streets, use on, okay? On, on Queen Street, on Green Street, or blah, 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 okay? Good. Let's see on the right. Examples using on the right or on the left. On the right or on the left. Remember, we are here. Remember, we are here. Examples using on the right or on the left. I think so. Okay, uh, go ahead. Uh, the bookshop is. Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. The bookshop the book, is. The bookshop is down the street on the right. Excellent, more complete. Okay, the bookshop is down the street on the right. Excellent, so you're using down the street. Thank you, um, Amber. Good. Now let's see, who else? Using on the left, on the left. Using on the left. A la izquierda, using on the left. Okay, Frida, remember, we are here. Okay, Frida? Okay, quiero decir otro. Okay. Um, the cafe is on the left, the under, underground station. Can you repeat it, please? The cafe is on the left to underground station. On the left of, you say off, on the left of the underground station. Of Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Now let's see which preposition are we missing down the street, right? So in this case, maybe you can say um, the the police station. Okay. You can say the because we are here. Nosotros estamos aquí. You are here. Okay. So you can say the police station is down the street on the left. Okay. Or you can say the bookshop. For example, the bookshop is down the street. On the right, yeah? So now, uh, these are prepositions to give directions, okay? These are prepositions to give directions. Do you have any question about prepositions? Or about the sentences, about the examples? Do you have any questions? No questions? Everything is crystal clear? Yes, yes. Okay, this, is, this, this topic is a little bit difficult, but the idea is to practice, right? Practice makes perfect. 
Okay, that's very good. Now it's time for you to work. Now listen. In pairs, in pairs, okay, in pairs, not in groups. In pairs, we will go to breakout rooms. And here on page number 43, okay, on page number 43, we have uh, exercise three, right? We have exercise number three, pair work, okay? Okay, so the idea is that you go and you have some sentences. The idea is that you label the places. For example, here, number one is hotel. The, the hotel is across the street. Now, you need to label these places, okay? What is this place according to these sentences? Okay, so please go to work in pairs, read the sentences and label the places or put the correct place on the space according to the sentences, okay? According to the sentences. So this is on page 43. Eso está en la página 43. So any doubt, alguna duda? Any doubt? No, it's clear? No, teacher. No. Okay, so let's go to working pairs, please. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me make the pairs quickly. Vamos a hacer las parejas rápidamente. So Ana Beatriz, Nelson, and Frida, can you please lower hands? Pueden bajar la mano, por favor? Can you please lower hands? Oh, me quedó la mano levantada. It's okay. You can go and lower it right now. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Okay, let me make the pairs. Or do you want to choose the pair this time? ¿O quieren elegir su pareja esta vez? Do you want to choose your pair this time? Or... <laughs> yeah? Okay. Okay, Nelson, choose a pair. Nelson, choose a pair. Elige una pareja, Nelson. Ah, okay. Eh... Sería con... Quickly, quickly. <laughs> quickly. Eh, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, all right. So Nelson and Jocelyn, you are group number one, okay? Uh, let's see, Amber, select a pair, please, Amber. Uh, Christian. Sorry? Christian. Christian, okay. So Amber, you are with Christian. You are group number two, okay? You are group number two. Okay, let's see, Ana Beatriz. Can you select a pair, please, Ana Beatriz? Definitely, Lisette. Okay, uh, Ana Beatriz with Lisette. Okay, thank you. You are group number three, Ana Beatriz and Jacqueline, group number three, okay? Frida, select a pair, please. Frida, select sorry. someone. Sorry, I am mute. I have, if I am mute. Um, Rocio? Yes. Rocio, yeah, Rocio is okay. Rocio hasn't been taken. So you are group number four, Frida and Rocio, group number four, okay? Juan Carlos Rivas, select a pair, please. Gloribel. Gloribel, all right. That's excellent. Juan Carlos and Gloribel, you are group number five, okay? You are group number five, okay? Thank you very much. Galileo, select a pair, please. Alejandro. Galileo and Alejandro. You are group number six, okay? You are group number six, okay? You are group number six, sorry. Uh, Omar, can you select a pair, please? Oscar Arnulfo. Oscar Arnulfo, very good. Okay, so you are group number seven. Okay, Omar and Oscar Arnulfo, you are group number seven. Abigail? Select a pair, please, Abigail. Galileo. Gal no, Galileo was taken. No, ya, lo, okay. ya lo eligieron, he was taken. Ah, no escuché. Only Mauricio. Available, we have Mauricio and Alejandro. Okay, I guess you three can work together. Creo que ustedes tres pueden trabajar juntos, okay? So Jack, Abigail, uh, sorry, um, yeah, I said Abigail, Mauricio, and Alejandro, you work together, okay? No se queda nadie afuera, right? Nobody's out. Teacher. Yeah. Y Alejandro que no estaba con Galileo. Oh, so, oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. I have... Abigail and Mauricio. Oh, yeah, it's true. Abigail then and Mauricio, you are together and you are group number eight. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so Abigail and Mauricio, you are group number eight. Okay, so let's go to work then. Page 43. Okay, page 43. So please, in this moment, select the correct group you were assigned to. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Select the group you were assigned to.
Nelson, do you have the, the, the notification? No. Which group? Que grupo? Which group? One, right? Number one. Okay, let yes. me assign you quickly. Thank you. Okay. Abigail, did you receive the notification? Yes, pero no me da la opción. Ahorita estoy viendo aquí está. Okay. The tell is across the street. Okay. The primer the hotel is across the street. Está ese, al cruzar la calle. Este sería para mí the gas station. The gas station is around the corner. Yes. Es hablando de aquí, ¿no? Sería acá. Hotel. Ah, hotel. Ahí está. Ese sería the gas station is around the corner. Ah, porque dice que está en la esquina. ¿verdad? Gas station. Ok. No, porque si the gas station is around the corner. Station. Ok. Sería este. El bank. Este sería el bank. The next. Ok. Bank. Bank. Ok. Le hice. Try to make a yeah, screenshot. Please. When you finish, when you finish, make a screenshot with the answers, okay? Oh, okay. Please. Okay. The team is down a strip on the right side. Bajando la calle, dice. A la derecha. Y the restaurant is down the street on the left. Sería esto, ¿cierto? Restaurant. Pero si, mm. si, si asumimos que bajar la calle de acá para acá. Mm, but si remember, si re, que ya, just, acá. just remember that you start at the hotel. If you started at the hotel, down the street is like the, the other way. Maybe. The uh, because, uh -huh. okay. you, I mean, you start with the hotel. You start... Uh -huh at the hotel so down the street is like it's not as you think down the street is like going uh -huh. up uh -huh. I, yes i am uh -huh. maybe no no i mean the gas station and the bank are okay maybe you have problems with the atm and the in the restaurant restaurant the atm is is down the street Street on the right, sería acá. Exactly. Bajando la calle. Y dice, the restaurant is down the street on the left. Dice, bajando la calle a la izquierda. Ok. Y aquí sería el restaurante. Le voy a colocar otro. Si guste, tome una, una captura. Ya lo he hecho en mi, en mi cuadernito, pero... Uh -huh. Ok. Ah, sí, yo lo tengo. Lo resolví en el libro. Pero te digo... Ah, ok, ahí... Ok. Ok, did you, did you finish? Yes. Yes, ok, so let's go back to the main station then. Regresemos entonces a la... Creo okay. que todos terminaron. I think everyone finished. Okay, so let's go back okay. to the main station. Okay. Teacher. Hello. Qué rápido, Need more teacher. Time. Yeah, oh my God. Quickly. It's so quickly. It was too fast. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I, I mean, I closed because uh, the, the groups I visited, they had finished. I'm sorry, Amber. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry, but don't worry, we will complete together, okay? We will complete here together. Okay, so let's go then and check, okay? Let's go then and check. So uh, questions, okay? Uh, I think almost everybody completed, right? Except Amber. 
and company. Okay, so here we have the hotel, obviously. Uh, what do you have on this space? The gas station, what do you have here? On this space? The gas station. The, the, station. the gas station, exactly. Here you have the gas station. What do you have on this space? The bank. The bank. The bank. The bank. The bank. That's right. So here we have the, the bank. What do you have on this space? Restaurant. Restaurant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? At the end? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's the restaurant. Yes. Sorry, it's okay. Yes, because it says sure. on the left, on the left. Because if you start at the hotel, this is down the street, right? This is down the street. Okay. Good. So uh, here we have the restaurant. What do you have on the right? ATM. ATM. The ATM. The ATM exactly. So, yeah, the ATM we have it here. ATM in English. Don't, don't say cajero automático. It's in English. ATM. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here we have these places basically. All right. Um, good. Now, okay, let me close something here quickly. Now, before I go to the next activity, before I go to the next activity, uh, do you have any question about prepositions? No questions? Everything okay? Everything okay. Perfect. That's really good. I like it. I can see you learn a lot. You learn very fast. Excellent. All right. Now, listen. Pay attention carefully here. Here we have more vocabulary to talk about directions, okay? And in this space, okay, uh, in this space, we have some other vocabulary, okay? And these are called, F -O -S -E these are called, um, okay, let me look for something here. Okay, we, we call these imperatives, okay? We call these words imperatives, yes? What is the characteristic of imperatives? Imperatives have no subject. I repeat, imperatives have no subjects. You don't say, for example, you go straight. No, it's impossible. You say go straight, okay? So a, char a characteristic of imperatives is that they have no subject, okay? And they are like to give instructions in this case, okay? Good. Now listen, let's check the first one. Revisemos la primera. Let's check the first one go straight okay again you are here if i tell you okay amber go straight what is go straight um, uh, no Sería... what is i mean it can be for anybody puede ser para cualquiera la pregunta what is go straight seguir recto Sigue derecho. Sigue derecho. B derecho, ¿ok? No decimos recto, derecho, right? So you say B derecho. Go straight. Go straight is B derecho. Go straight, ¿ok? Good. Let's go to the second. Go past. Now listen, I can say, ok, so uh, go past. I can say, imagine I say, go past the shop, ¿ok? Go past the shop. And the, you will see the, the underground station, okay? Go past the shop and you will see the underground station. What is go past? Pasando. Pasando o al pasar, exactly. So I say go past the shop and you will see the underground station, okay? Go past the shop. Al pasar la tienda, go past the shop, okay? Good. What is turn left? Now, listen. <laughs> Ir a la izquierda. So I can say, for example, I can say, for example, go straight Bond Street. Go straight on Bond Street and turn left. Okay, turn left on King's Road. Turn left. What is turn left? Ir a la izquierda. Ir a la izquierda. Aunque aquí le estoy, aquí ya, ya, le, ya, ya le estoy dando una mala señal. Bueno, está bien, solo que tengo que ir al redondel primero para girar. Pero... <laughs> Okay, so uh, this is turn left, okay? So turn left. Now let's go to the next. Turn right. So I can say, go straight and turn right. What is turn right? Girar a la derecha. Girar a la derecha, turn right. Excellent, okay? Girar a la derecha, that's very good. Go up or go down the street. What is go up the street? 
Sube la calle. Ah, sube la calle. Go up the street. And go down the street. Baja por la calle. Baja, baja la calle. calle. Imagine you are here in this moment. So I say, hey, go down the street. So you go down the street. Okay. Go down the street. Baja la calle. Go down the street. Okay. Yeah. Or you are here. O si están acá. Go up the street. Okay. So go up the street and go down the street. Sube la calle o baja la calle. Go up the street, sube la calle. Go down the street, baja la calle. Okay, let's continue. Continuemos. Walk down the street. Again. You are here. Ah, exactly. So go down the street. It's like walk, sorry, walk down the street. What is walk down the street? What is this? What is walk? Yeah. Yes, walk. Cam camina. Camina bajando la calle. Sería. Camina bajando la calle. Walk down the street. Okay, walk down the street. Walk is like exactly camina, right? Walk down the street. Good. Now let's see the other one. Go on. Oh, lose. listen, this is important. Go on for two blocks. What is two blocks? Dos cuadras. Ah, um, okay, excellent. So I can say, for example, I can say, for example, go straight. Okay, go straight, turn right on Queen Street and go on two blocks. One, two blocks, okay? One block, two blocks. So I can say, go up and turn left on Green Street and go on two blocks, okay? Sigue dos bloques, go on two blocks, okay? So uh, go on two blocks is like, B. Dos bloques, okay? O avanza dos bloques. Go on for two blocks, okay? And we have the first. We have the last, sorry. Tenemos la última. Take the first left or take the first right, okay? Take the first left. What is that? Take the first left. Toma la, la primera, primera a la izquierda. izquierda o a la derecha. Ah, toma la primera izquierda o la primera derecha. Take the first right. Or you, you can say, take the second left. Take the second right, okay? Okay, so uh, uh, now let's see the pronunciation. Go straight, go past, turn left, turn right, go up the street, go down the street, walk down the street, go on for two blocks, take the first left, take the first right, okay? So, is the vocabulary clear? Está claro el vocabulario? Is the vocabulary clear? Yes. Yeah. Yes, make a screenshot. Pueden hacer una captura de pantalla aquí también. You can make a screenshot here. Y la comparten ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp si quieren. Make a screenshot and you share it on the group. Okay, please. Did you make the screenshot? Hicieron una captura? Did you make the screenshot? Yes? No, sure. No, okay, let me share it then again. Le voy a compartir otra vez para que le puedan hacer entonces. I will share again so you can make the, the screenshot, okay? Okay, there you go. Make the screenshot if you want. Everybody has to make the screenshot of this part because you will work on something in this moment, okay? Very good. Now, now we have a lot of vocabulary, right? We have prepositions and we have imperatives, okay? So I repeat. The idea of prepositions and the idea of imperatives is to give directions, okay? Or to understand directions, okay? To give or to understand directions, all right? Now, we have nine minutes. We have nine minutes, okay? So in nine minutes, you will prepare a conversation giving and receiving directions, okay? You will write the conversation in pairs, okay? So. Please, let's go to work in pairs, okay? Do you want to go with the same pair? ¿Quieren ir con la misma pareja? Do you want to go with the same pair? Yeah? Okay. Yes. So I repeat. Okay, Jason and Jos Nelson and Jocelyn, number one. Ana Beatriz and Lisette. Sorry, Amber and Christian, number two. Amber and Christian, number two. Ana Beatriz and Lisette, number three. Frida and Rocío, number four. Juan Carlos Rivas y Gloribel, number five. Galileo and Alejandro, number six. Omar and Oscar Arnulfo, number seven. And Abigail and Mauricio, number 
eight, okay? So the idea is that in this moment, you go and using the picture of the map, using the picture or using this map, using this map and using this, um, hold on a second, and using this vocabulary and the prepositions, the idea is that you prepare a conversation, okay? Giving and receiving directions, yeah? And for this, para esto, for this, uh, you can, you can make use of, oh, hold on a second. You can make use of this conversation, okay? You can make use of this conversation as an example. As an example, you can see the conversation on exercise five, okay? Page 44, exercise five, page 44. So you can write the conversation like this, okay? The idea is to use the map that we started, okay? So everything clear? Is everything clear? Yeah? Okay, very good. So remember, you will go in pairs. One person gives the direction and the other person asks for the directions, okay? Very good. So let's go to May to, to write the conversation. Si van a trabajar en una pizarra o digital o en algo, hagan la captura, okay? Porque si cierro la sesión, se les va a desaparecer. Así que traten de hacer la captura de pantalla cuando terminen, por favor. No lo olviden. Don't forget, please. All right, let's go to work. Recuerdan su grupo, ¿verdad? Okay, select your group. Or oh, select your pair, sorry. ¿Qué vamos a hacer, teacher? Um, Jocelyn, you need to go with the same pair. Necesitas ir con la misma pareja. ¿Con quién trabajaste? Con Nelson, ¿verdad? Con Nelson. Ok, Ajá. entonces debes unirte al equipo uno. You have to join uh, team one. Y van a crear no, una conversación. Pero... Y ah, no. con you will create a conversation uh, using, um, using the, the, the prepositions and the map, ¿ok? Ok. Yeah. El mapa que usted compartió, teacher. Yes, and you can use the conversation on page 44 as one example, okay? Pueden usar la conversación de la 44 como ejemplo, de la página 44, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank okay, you. perfect. Vale, la primera pregunta que te puedo hacer es la siguiente eh, ok, aquí está eh, me comentas si, si, si tú me entendés ok excuse me Amber where there is a a library here where there is a library here ¿Dónde hay una librería acá? Bueno. Ok. Uh, siempre basándonos en este mapa, ¿verdad? Sí, no, sí, claro, por supuesto. Esta es la referencia. Uh, the, library, the library is show the corner. O around the corner. Around the corner. Ok, ok. Maybe, uh, maybe, Amber, you can use blocks in this case, ok? Maybe you can say, um, go on for one block. Go on, because you are, you are, it says you are here. So you say, go on for one block. Turn left, or maybe you can say, go on for one block, and the library is around the corner, ok? Around okay. The Excellent, ok. okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, entonces sería the library. Go on for one block. Go on, go on for one, for block. one block. And the library one is block. around the corner. Okay. Yeah, to be more specific, right? 
Ok. Ok. Eh, la otra pregunta sería... Eh, do you know where is a police station? Uh, Repeat. Okay. Um, okay. The, the street... Um, go up the street, go for, no, como sería tía? Teacher, perdón, este. What is the place? Yeah, go on the street. What is the place? Uh, uh, the police uh, station. The Do you know where the police station? Yeah, go, say it, Amber, up, I want to listen. Go up the street. Yeah. For... For uh, two blocks. Two blocks, exactly. So, uh, entonces sería, go up the street for two blocks. Exactly. And, um, and the left, on the left was... The police station on the is on the left. <coughs> okay, go on the street for two blocks, the police station on the left. Is on the left, is, is on the left. Is on the left. <coughs> Or you can say the police station is in front of the supermarket and the bookstore. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, la siguiente. The next. Sería... Ahorita. No, la verdad que eso no voy a comer porque no. Es noche. Okay. Bueno, hoy sería este eh, a la inversa. Eh, no, practiquemos lo que hemos escrito. Eh. Good morning. Could you give me the direction to the theater? Good morning, sure. Go out the street, walk to block and turn left. Thank you. No problem. Maybe uh hello. Maybe in this case, it's a little bit like, you have to be more specific. Maybe you can say, uh, good morning, in the case of Alejandro, right? Good, mom, good morning, sure. Go up the street and go up to blocks and turn left. But where is it specifically, next to the bookstore or around the corner or what? Yeah, in this case, we are here with, in the X. Yeah. And we are asked for theater. Ah, okay. Then, then you can say um, go up to blocks, and then it, and then what? What do you say? Okay, can I see the conversation? Okay, este, go up the street, walk to blocks, and turn left. Uh -huh. and you, walk to blocks and turn left. Maybe you don't have to turn left. Maybe you can say directly, uh, and the and it is, or maybe you can say, and the theater is on the left, and the theater is on the left. Because you don't have to turn. In the end, you don't have to turn, right? But it's on the left directly. Okay. Yeah. Ahí está. That's better. Go up the street and walk to block, and the three, three, three is, is on, on the left. Is on the left. Me lo cambia porque ya voy a buscar la manera de cambiar el idioma. Yeah, it's okay. It's on the left. It's on the left. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting, but uh, it's complicated too. It's confusing. I know it's confusing. Yeah, for, it's confusing. Even for me, it's, it's difficult to give directions. Yeah, <laughs> it's no. Even in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> no, in Spanish. No, puedo dar en español, ya lo puedo dar en inglés. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. No. Even, even for me, it's difficult to give directions in Spanish. I confuse people. <laughs> in Spanish, in Spanish, bueno, para mí es fácil. Hmm. Darla, que me entiendan es lo que no sé, porque yo, yo generalmente, <laughs> generalmente puntos cardinales. Ah, I see. Ya yeah, dice... Yeah. Yeah. Mire, este, ¿dónde queda tal lugar? Ya inmediatamente en mi cerebro me ubico. Camine dos cuadras hacia el sur, o sea, hacia allá y le señalo. Cuando camine esas dos cuadras, 
vaya hacia el oeste, una cuadra y así. O sea, para mí eso es lo más the, exacto, lo más sencillo. The, the, problem, the problem is that some people get confused with, 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 uh, with cardinal points. That, yeah. that's, the, that's the issue. Yeah, hay gente que entiende para arriba o para abajo. Yes. Yo no entiendo eso. Yo entiendo, mire, va para el sur dos cuadras Ese. y después se mueve hacia el, hacia el norte una cuadra. Para mí es lo más fácil. Hay imagen, ya me imagino. Hay imagen. Ok, ok, continue. Ok. Me, como era. Ah, bueno. Yeah, you can do one more if you want. You have one minute. Ok. Ah. We have one more. I need it. Okay, the next is. Eh, era la conversación, ¿verdad, teacher? Podemos hacer otra conversación con otra dirección. No, no, leave one, it's okay. You can leave one because time is over. Okay, thank you. Gracias, Leandro. Okay. Okay, so let's wait for the others because some people are still on the, are still working. Okay, let me pass, let me pass the attendance quickly the last time, okay? I will pass the attendance quickly the okay. last time. It's a little late. Okay, let's see, um, Alejandro. I'm here, teacher. Ana Abigail. I'm here. Ana Beatriz. Present. Christian. Present, teacher. Ember. I'm here. Frida? Frida? I'm here. Okay, Jacqueline is set. I'm here. Juan, um, Juan Carlos Rivas? Juan Carlos Salas is, yeah, Juan Carlos Rivas? Right here. Maria Elena? No, right. Um, Mauricio? Antonio? Yes. Nelson? I'm here, teacher. Omar Francisco? Present teacher. Oscar. Arnulfo. Present. Present. Rocío. Jacqueline. Present, present. present. Okay, 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 Rocío. It's fine. Uh, Jocelyn. Present. Yesenia. Dinora. And Jose Galileo. Okay. Present. present. <laughs> okay, okay. Good. It's okay. Don't tell me, it's okay. I know you didn't finish, okay? I know the majority didn't finish, so don't tell me, it's okay. All right, so I know, uh, I think maybe some people finish only one little conversation, okay? So, but the idea is that you prepare the conversation, so don't worry, it's okay. On Friday, we will finish the conversation. You don't have to work because it's Father's Day, okay? So I won't assign any homework. No le voy a dejar que lo hagan porque es mañana el día del padre. Tomorrow is Father's Day, okay? <laughs> so I don't want to interrupt your celebration. In the okay? morning, a celebration. Yes, I don't want to break into your celebrations, okay? So it's okay. Good. So um, so everybody, on, on Friday, we will continue working on the conversation. Don't worry. It's okay. All right? So just don't forget uh, that we will continue using prepositions of place and the imperatives to give directions, okay? So, tal vez si tienen tiempo, solo le dan una media repasadita, okay? A, las, a, la, a los imperativos y a las preposiciones, okay? okay? Para que no se les olviden para el viernes. So, okay. you, you don't forget them for Friday. Okay, everyone, yeah. thank you for connecting today. Uh, see you on Friday, on Friday, okay? Good night and goodbye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Good Happy night. Father's Bye. Day. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Father's Day. Thank you very much. Okay, very good. So um, for, for uh, this time, I don't have anybody for the one-on-one -on -one session. So uh, what I am going to do is that I, I am going to reinforce, okay? A topic we studied uh, this week, or we studied these previous days, okay? So for this, I will share um, 
my digital board. So uh, I want to reinforce uh, this topic, which is called, okay? So I want to reinforce this topic, which is called be going to, okay? This topic, which is called be going to, okay? Be going to, all right? So the first thing, um, to, to know is that we use be going to, okay, the purpose of using be going to is for future events. And to be, to be more specific, plans, okay? When you have plans, okay? Future events and to be more specific, plans. All right, so second thing to know, be, is used in one of the three forms, okay? It can be, um, okay, hold on a second. Uh, so in the forms of B, we can use am, um, is, or we can use are, okay? So you know that for I, we use the pronoun I, I am, all right? For is, I, I am going to use he and, and she. And for are, I am going to use um, we, you and and they. So basically, uh, I say I am, he is, she is, we are, you are, and they are. Okay, and then we say going to. Now let, let's see some examples in in context. Okay, so let me give you one example using I. So the example could be I. All right, I am going i am going to travel okay i am going to travel uh the next month for example is because i have a plan okay uh, si yo digo eso es porque tengo un plan i have a plan oh, hold on a second the next month i am going to travel the next month so we have the structure Okay, um, we have the structure here. I am going to travel the next month. I, okay, hold on a second. I am going to, then the base form of the verb and the complement, okay? I am going to travel the next month. Now imagine uh, we use this example is positive, right? So you can say, I am going to travel the next month. You can say he is, Okay, for example, he is going to travel the next month, or you can say she, she is going to travel the next month, or we, you say we are, we are going to travel the next month, okay, or they, for example, okay, they are going to travel the next month, all right, so this example is positive, now let's check a negative example, okay, let's check a negative Example, it's very simple, okay? For the negative examples, it's very simple. We only put not, okay? And the example looks like this. I am, okay? I am not going, okay? You always put going to. I am not going to work tomorrow, for example. I am not going to work tomorrow. Good. So what you can see here is that I use I again, am, and I put not for the negative, going to the base form of the verb and the complement, which is a time expression, okay? So using all the pronouns, I can say uh, he is not going to work tomorrow, or I can say uh, she is not going to work tomorrow, or I can say maybe we. We are not going to work tomorrow, or maybe they. They are not going to work tomorrow. And I have a question like this, okay? I mean, I have a negative example like this. Good. Now let's see uh, the last form. And the last form is for, for questions. How do I ask questions, okay? Como hago preguntas? And this is even easier. Esto es más fácil aún. Lo que yo hago es poner el am, is or are at the beginning. For example, 
Am I going? Am I going to work? Am I going to work uh, tomorrow, for example? Am I going to work tomorrow? And then you tell me, oh, yes, you are. Or no, you aren't. Is he, you can say, is he going to work tomorrow? Are we going to work tomorrow? Okay, and we have the equation form, okay? Very good, just don't forget that you can use short forms. So you can say, I, you can say, uh, he is, you can say, she is, you can say, it's, okay? You can say, um, we are, okay? You can say, um, there, okay? The short form, la forma corta, and you can say, uh, you are, okay? So you can use short forms or contractions. También podemos usar contracciones. I'm going to work tomorrow, he's going to work tomorrow, and so on, okay? For the negative, you can use contractions too, for the negative, okay? So you can say, uh, for example, you can say, I'm not, okay? So you can use contractions. You can say, um, isn't, she isn't, or you can say, aren't. We aren't going to work tomorrow. So basically, this is the topic I wanted to explain, and this topic is be going to, okay? Okay, thank you very much uh, for watching, and I hope this is helpful for you. So thank you for everything. Take care, and goodbye.